Aquatic protein, or seafood, is one of the fastest growing and most highly traded food sectors. It provides an important protein source for billions of people. We have reached a point where fishing and the farming of fish, aquaculture from our rivers, lakes and seas, both contribute half of the global seafood supply. Our population will reach 9 billion people by 2050. With an increasing and ageing population comes increasing demand for food and resources and shifts in the types of food needed. Rivers and oceans will continue to provide important sources of food. However, aquatic environments are already strained. Improved fisheries management in many areas and some unsustainable fishing practices in others will limit the amount of seafood that we can obtain from fishing alone. So how can we continue to meet our population's requirement for seafood? Aquaculture is increasingly filling this gap. It involves the growing and harvesting of shellfish, crustaceans, fish and seaweed in a controlled manner that if done sustainably could reduce the impact of our demand for seafood on the environment. CFAS monitors and studies aquatic ecosystems and explores the interaction between the environment, fisheries and aquaculture so that seafood from whatever source may become more sustainable. CFAS advises home and overseas governments to encourage a sustainable relationship between people and water. Examples may include new ways of producing protein from aquaculture that could significantly reduce the amount of ocean space required to produce our seafood. This reduced need for space potentially benefiting broader marine conservation goals. Other work focuses on improving aquaculture in low- and middle-income countries. Achieving sustainable aquaculture here is important for both their national prosperity and for feeding the world. Approaches to aquaculture are still developing and the industry faces some challenges. One of the main barriers to sustainable aquaculture is disease. Diseases have the potential to spread quickly, causing economic losses and damaging supply chains. Minimising the impact of the disease brings us closer to realising sustainable production from this sector. Due to a lack of data and research, the current scale of the impacts of disease on global aquaculture is thought to be large but unknown. It is imperative that the government, industry and academics work collaboratively to determine the extent of these impacts. CFAS are a global leader in aquatic animal health and are designated a collaborating centre in this area by the OIE. As a global centre of excellence, we work with our partners on some of the most pressing sustainability issues facing the aquaculture industry. Further, CFAS and the University of Exeter have recently established the Centre for Sustainable Aquaculture Futures to link experts in aquatic animal health, seafood safety and broader issues of sustainability, such as AMR. By improving the health and safety of consuming seafood, we will help remove one of the key barriers preventing sustainable production from this sector. Aquaculture is the future of seafood production. We must now work collaboratively to support enhanced sustainable production from the industry. The benefits to people and the environment could be great.